we're all adults here, or I hope we're all adults here. If you're a child, click off the video. No, it's really far down. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Riza. Please make sure you, that you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I've uploaded something new. And if you're not new, thank you so much for sticking around. I really do appreciate your support so we could keep growing this community. And if you would like to see more of me, I definitely post more on Instagram. So definitely go check that out in the description box below. I will leave my link so you guys can check that out. Today, I love doing these videos because that means that summer is here we are going to be doing a bikini haul I don't have a lot of bikinis here but they are certainly ones that I will so there are certainly ones that I will be wearing throughout the summer if I go anywhere these are coming with me so I'll definitely take you through the sizing so to just get that out of the way so I am generally an extra small to a small on top and then I am somewhere between a small and a medium depending on their sizing so I will take you through each piece that I'm going to show you today and tell you just based on my experience with the fit I usually like things to fit just right not too tight not too loose so let's get started. So the first bikini that I want to talk about, I actually talked about it in my first ever bikini haul and I still have it with me to this day. It is in such good condition. It is a classic black bikini from Aerie. I'm pretty sure everyone is familiar with Aerie. It is like the sister company to American Eagle and I was actually really surprised to find that they have the really they have these really great basic bikinis that you know you could wear for just tanning and still look pretty chic if you're going to a party but these are pretty minimal with the respect that you know it's not a complete like g-string thong bottom so I'll show you the bottom first and this I got in a medium so yeah, generally when I'm buying bottoms for bikinis, I generally go for a medium because it just sits right with my hips. I think that I'm about like 35 inches on the hips and a 25 to a 26 inch waist. These bikinis still fit like a charm. So, you know, if you're in between sizes, if you fluctuate between sizes, I would say that a medium is a good way to go on these bottoms in particular. So. It's such a cool high rise, like it really sits high on the hips, so it really elongates your leg. And that's what I love about this bikini so much and why I've had it for so long because it's perfect for tanning and it's very on trend with the 80s classic style bikini. And then for the top, and why I say that this bikini is really good for tanning is because it will give you those minimal tan lines. So it's just a basic triangle top and I like that it doesn't tie in the back that you could just snap it off so there's really no chance I'm getting like those weird tan lines that you would get like with a string. So it's really easy to unclasp if you don't want that tan line in the back or if you do. I think it looks kind of cool sometimes. I don't know. I kind of go back and forth with where I like my tan lines and where I don't. It's a constant mental battle, but this is a really great piece and I believe that it was very affordable. I think this was maybe like $20 total. So um, I'll double check on the website. I did get this a while ago, so I am, I do apologize if it's not available, but I think I checked like not too long ago and this specific bikini was still there. So I'll definitely check that out for you guys. And if I can't find it, then I will totally find a alternative, a very similar alternative but with the same price point. So really good, love it. And usually when you look for bikinis that are in that price range, they don't really last you that long. But I think I tanned in this all summer for, how, for however long that I had this and it's still in really, really great condition. And what's good is that it's also machine washable. So like the bikinis that I show you next, they have specific care instructions, but these I was able to wash in the washing machine and they still came out perfect. So next bikini, <sighs> let's just talk about Frankie's bikinis, okay? I think I brought my first Frankie's I've been such a huge fan of Frankie's bikinis since I was like a sophomore in college and over time I've been able to collect bikinis. Frankly not a lot because unfortunately they are more on the pricier side but for a good reason because the fabrics are just amazing, the quality is next level, like they really kind of revolutionized the bikini industry 
at least in my head, because Frankie's Bikinis was the first introduction to quality luxury swimwear when I just, you know, my only options were like Rip Curl and, you know, all those like basic uh, bikini brands that we all were familiar with and really all that we had access to. So, you know, Frankie's Bikinis kind of changed the game for me. So this set is called the Francesca set. They do sell it separately, so I don't know why I said set, but it's basically, this is just the Francesca bottom, and then we have the matching Francesca top. So this is another bikini that is really cool for minimal tan line. So for the Frankie's top, I was able to buy it in a size small. I think that just generally, if I if I forget to mention any of the sizes of the tops, just expect it to be an extra small or a small. So the Francesca top was in a size small, and then I bought the Frankie Francesca's bottoms in a size medium, and they fit perfectly. I think it's so true to size. Usually for this, these style bottoms, I don't particularly go for them because they have a tendency to dig into my hips, so I usually try to stay away from these bottoms, but these just... Like I said before, with the brand in general, just changed the game. There's so much stretch in the straps that it won't dig into your hips. It'll just accentuate your legs and your hips and make them look so like feminine and curvy and just, you know, it'll bring out the best in your curves. We're gonna move on to um, an Australian brand that I recently found out about. I don't know why, because I, I thought I was very versed in Australian swimwear, <laughs> but you know, the new ones are coming out and I'm so happy to keep sharing the new swimwear uh, designers that you know I'm just discovering. So of course, if you guys have any suggestions and would like to see me do a review on any Australian brands, please let me know. I would love to do that. So this brand that I recently discovered is called Koana Swim. This is the blue lily bikini, and they come in a different style than the bra top, but I really just liked the bra top. I thought it was so cute and like dainty, feminine, and I bought this in a size small. It's perfect for my bust size, and it also gives, you know, a nice little subtle cleavage, which I can I will always appreciate so I just love the detail I think it's so cute at first I thought it was blueberries and I was really excited about that but then I saw that it was like floral so I was like oh all right whatever but it's fine and then also I bought these bottoms as you, like as I said before I'm not really into buying the strappy bottoms like really only Frankie's bikinis has like kind of you know, ease my fear with those types of bottoms, but I tend to go for the ones that have a little more coverage on the hips just to sort of accentuate my curves instead of like digging in because more, more times than not it does. But this is the bottom that I bought from Kiwana and I got this in a size medium as well. And I like the little V detail. It really does make you have that nice hourglass shape without digging into your curves. So this was really beautiful and I think it would look so pretty with the tan. It's definitely pretty for getting photos or going to like a special occasion where you know there's gonna be a pool or there's gonna be a beach party. I think that that would be a really pretty summery piece, especially uh, this summer where florals are very on trend. So next, another Australian bikini brand. I love them so much. This is TJ Swim, another brand that I have followed for a very, very long time and I was so fortunate enough to go to the Fashion Palette the Swim Runway Show and TJ Swim was one of those brands for the runway show and it was just amazing to see all of the pieces that were coming out this season. So I was super happy that when they reached out and offered to gift me a bikini to make content with and of course I was like, yes. <laughs> 100% yes. This is the Coco top and bottom and it just has these dainty little straps and a beautiful kind of bandeau top. Like I feel like I could wear this as a bandeau and it would look really really cute. I love how this is nice and tight on my bust. Like mind you, I do have a very small bust if you couldn't tell. Um, so I don't mind if it's tight around here because that means that I got cleavage, okay? We gotta do something. We gotta do something for them. So, yeah, sorry. So if you do have a bigger bust and you want more comfort around this area, I would suggest maybe going a size up if you can because then, you know, you will have more comfort in this area. This was 
enough for me. This is really beautiful. So I thought that it was perfect and the fabric is so soft, like of course, and it just makes me so happy. So classic white bikini is definitely a must for summer. So, you know, if you could get one that you could stick with the entire summer, you good to go. So next, okay. Australian swimwear introduced me to it and I am totally for it, but I know that not everybody is. And mind you, TJ Swim does have options of bottoms that you can, you know, you don't have just have to get a thong bottom. Like they do have options that have more full coverage. Unfortunately though, for the cocoa bottoms, um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm okay with it. So, um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I got this in a size medium and I thought it was a little more on the snug side. So, I would I would probably be more comfortable with a large in this style, to be honest, but it still fit. It still looks really good and it would be great for tanning in my opinion since it is so cheeky. Um, you'll definitely be getting some saucy tan lines with this one. So she a good girl. <laughs> the last brand that I would like to talk about, ah, so drum roll please, it is 437. If you are not familiar with 437, click off this video, go on Instagram, type in 437 and educate yourself because seriously, this is the brand that I think everyone should have at least one piece from. Not sponsored, I'm just saying these are to die for bikinis. So, lost for words, but you get my point. So, the first bikini that I would like to talk about, uh, trust me, I have so many bikinis from 437, but this is just what I bought recently. So, the first one is from their second drop for their Daydream collection, and if they still have things available, please go check it out because I assure you, they will be sold out if they're not sold out already because Hello, she's beautiful. So the color is everything that I could ever dream for, hence the name Daydream Collection. And this is the Aria top along with the Aria bottoms. Another piece, I am sorry, it is cheeky, but I mean, just think about the tan lines, girl. It's gonna look so good. Like you walk around in front of your boot, he or she sees that, they're gonna be like, damn, babe. So she here, she happy for you. She's here for you. So I bought this in a size medium, of course, and this is just such a beautiful color. I love a ribbon. I think that it is very complimentary to your curves and it gives a nice little texture to an otherwise basic bikini. And this was just everything that I could imagine for a 2020 bikini. So really happy about that. I just wanted to mention one more bikini from 437. And this is their Audrey set. I believe it's their Audrey set. And so I just bought the bottoms that I bought in a size small, actually. So 437 is really great for their sizes because they're either true to size or they will inform you to go up or down. So they wanna make sure that you get the right size completely. And I think they also offer services where you know you could almost consult with a 437 stylist and they could find you your perfect bikini so they're so interactive like they're really trying to like be in touch with their consumer as much as they can so i think that it's a really great you know experience especially since it's kind of harder on social media because you know you don't have the human contact to really have that type of experience but they really are innovative with trying to create a great experience for all their consumers so, <laughs> uh, so this is the bottom that I bought. It's not completely not cheeky. That's English, <laughs> but you can't be afraid to show the booty. Own it, okay? And then the top that I bought was the Audrey top, which is so versatile. I think they have a ton of videos and pictures on their Instagram page showing you the many different ways that you can wear this top, and I love every single one of them. I think you could even wear it as a regular going out top, and it would just look so chic, so summery. Like, I could totally see myself wearing it like on a night in Miami and just looking like a freaking beach goddess, or at least I hope so, I don't know. Someone could probably pull it off better than me who has boobs. 
So babes, that is all for today. I really hope that you enjoyed this bikini haul. Please make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you did like this video and comment below what your favorite piece was, what your favorite brand or brands were. And I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye.